who is ready to do some solution stoichiometry? Take a look at this first problem. We're told that if 20.0 milliliters of 0 0.020 molar aqueous hydrochloric acid is required to neutralize 40.0 milliliters of an aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide, determine the molarity of the sodium hydroxide solution. Okay, now with all stoichiometry problems, the very first thing I need is a balanced chemical equation. At this point, you should recognize that hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide are gonna react to form water, H2O, and a salt, in this case, NaCl. Remember, acid-base neutralization reactions are examples of double replacement. A quick check by inspection tells me that this equation is already balanced and the ratio of everything in this equation is one to one to one to one. Makes my life and your life a heck of a lot easier. Now, solution stoichiometry requires us to use the molarity formula, which is moles per liter, in addition to our normal stoichiometry conversions. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the volume and molarity of the known solution, in this case, HCl. I know the concentration is 0 0.020 molar. And I know that to react all of the sodium hydroxide or neutralize all of the sodium hydroxide, I need to use 0 0.0200 liters. Now, notice what I did there. I made sure that I converted my volume from milliliters to liters. To determine the number of moles, I'm simply going to multiply my concentration times the volume which means that my number of moles is 4.0 times 10 to the negative four. That's how many moles of HCl reacted. That's how many moles were in my 20 milliliters of 0.02 molar HCl. Now comes the stoichiometry. I know that I reacted 4.0 times 10 to the minus four moles of HCl, which means that I also reacted 4.0 times 10 to the minus four moles of NaOH because the ratio in my balanced chemical equation is one to one. And then finally, if I know that I reacted 4.0 times 10 to the minus four moles of sodium hydroxide, and that 4.0 times 10 to the minus four moles of sodium hydroxide was in 40 milliliters of solution, or 0 0.040 liters of solution, the concentration is simply a quick division. And so the concentration of my sodium hydroxide solution is 0 0.010 molar. Boom. Now, as always, take a moment, stop, think. Does this make sense? I determined the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution to be half the concentration of my original hydrochloric acid solution. The ratio in the balanced chemical equation is one to one. It makes sense that the volume of the sodium hydroxide was twice the volume of the hydrochloric acid because the concentration of the sodium hydroxide was half the concentration of the original HCl. Boom, math, and we're done.